At this time of year, a lot of us get worried about colds and flu and talk about the flu season and, well, it's winter, I'm bound to get a cold. I always get sick in the winter. And we have this belief that our immunity is something that has nothing to do with us. Your immunity is in your hands. There are at least three things that you can do to massively boost your immune system. Listen on, and I'm going to show you how to have a powerful immune system. So I hear many people say, oh, you know, I'm so worried. I'm always getting sick. I, you know, my kid comes home with a bug and I get it. My grandchildren always have colds and I pick them up. And that's a belief. And you know what your immune system loves? It loves you to be positive and focused with a powerful belief that I am super well. And what the immune system really does not like is stress, panic, anxiety. You know, your thoughts are things. Thoughts become real. Every thought you think has a physical reaction and an emotional response. So here's an example. I could lie next to my husband in bed. He could be streaming with cold and I could go, oh, you're going to make me ill now. You just left that tissue there and don't sneeze. I'm bound to get sick. Or I could say, you know, I have such a great immune system. My immune system is so great that I can be around him and I'm gonna be great because I believe that to get sick, you have to be physically, mentally, and emotionally out. And when you're saying, oh, I'm gonna get sick now, I'm worried about getting sick, I hope I don't get a cold, I'm sure I'm gonna get a cold, I always get colds in the winter. The minute the heating comes on, I get my sinus headaches, you are emotionally out because you're expecting it. And here's another rule of the mind, what we expect tends to be realized. So your immune system reacts very badly to stress, worry, panic, and anxiety. It depresses your immune system. But what makes you have a strong immune system is passionate beliefs, powerful beliefs, the way you dialogue with yourself. Oh, I'll get sick if I eat that. Oh. You know, I just ate some chicken at the end. I noticed it was a bit undercooked. Now I'm gonna get sick. Or you could say, sick? I have a great immune system. I never get sick. I remember once somebody picking something up off the floor and eating it, and I looked at them and went, hey, that's what my immune system is for. And I travel a lot. I'm always going through time zones. I don't get sick and I don't get jet lag because I tell my immune system, hey, you can respond. I tell everyone, well, I sleep on the plane. Wherever I arrive, I sleep, I adapt really easily, and I do, but I tell myself that I program my mind, condition my mind, dialogue with my mind by saying, oh, I've just adapted. I slept on the plane. I feel great. I'll sleep tonight. I don't have to wash everything I eat because I have a great immune system. And you may say, well, I think you're faking it, but you know what? It doesn't matter because here's something that will really resonate when you let it in. Your mind doesn't know and it doesn't even care if what you tell it is good or bad, true or false, useful, useless, helpful or harmful. It lets it in. That's going to make me sick. That's going to exhaust me. I can't cope with that. And you just have to flip over the words. Every time you say something negative, I'm chronically tired. Well, I'm a little tired. I've got the flu. I've got some aches and pains, but you know, I'm gonna hydrate and sleep and I'll be great. And of course, occasionally I get a little something and I tell my body, I'm gonna knock this out of my system in a day. I'm gonna be over this in a day. I'm gonna sleep and hydrate and I will be just fine. So the most important thing to boost your immunity, to give you a strong, powerful, reliable immune system is to think different thoughts and speak different words. If you knew that every word you speak is a blueprint that your mind, body, and psyche must work to make real, you wouldn't say, well, my kid picks up everything going at school and I pick it up too, or it's flu season, it's cold season. Even when you go to the store and stock up on cold medicine, you're kind of expecting 
to get sick. Don't do that. By all means, have a little something in your house, but don't plan to be sick. Don't plan it. So use powerful language. My immune system is strong. My immune system is powerful. I have fantastic immunity, a great immune system. Because your immune system is your first line of defense. Your immune system does a phenomenal job of keeping you well. And if you believe in it and think great thoughts and fill up your mind with images of your immune system doing a phenomenal job every day, it will do a phenomenal job. What else can you do to help your immune system? Well, here's something people don't seem to know. Every time you eat sugar, it depresses your immune system for three hours. And when you're feeling a little off color and you eat candy and chocolate and hot chocolate to give you energy, it actually makes you worse. You are what you eat. If you want to have a great immune system, you need to eat a rainbow diet of fruits and vegetables. You need to eat green vegetables. You need to eat fruit. You need to drink water. So the more candy you eat, the more junk food you eat, your body has to process that. Everything has to go through your immune system. Even when you spray yourself with perfume, that too must go through your immune system. So eat a better diet, fill up your plate with vegetables, and not just the same thing, carrots and peas, have purple vegetables, green vegetables, orange vegetables, that rainbow diet. Vegetables and fruits, and particularly the skin, have all kinds of compounds that will help your immune system. So eat better, look at what you're eating, buy ingredients, not food. Don't buy TV dinners and processed food and ready food because that's not real food. Buy ingredients, make real food, hydrate. People just don't drink water. Oh, it's boring, I don't like water. I don't love water, but my body loves it. And to this day, I have to make myself drink water, especially in the winter but I make myself drink water because my body is 90% water. If I don't drink water, I feel dehydrated. That also depresses my immune system. So what you think, what you eat, how you hydrate. And here's the third thing about your immune system. How much do you sleep? Do you go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, looking at your phone, stimulating your mind? have to wake up at seven and never have enough sleep. You need to go to bed before midnight as often as you can. You need proper deep sleep. You need to switch the television off and really rest because your immune system loves rest. People who meditate say, you know, since I meditated, all those aches and pains, the headaches, the irritable bowel, they seem to have gone away. It's partly because when you meditate, you relax, you empty your mind, but also meditation makes you think about taking care of yourself. You have one body. It has to last you a long time. And I know you want your body to look after you. Of course we do. We all want our body to go, hey body, look after me, do a great job. But your body can't look after you. If you don't look after it, it's a win-win. When you can do just a few really good things for your body, meditate, take yourself to bed before midnight, sleep for eight hours and sleep a deep sleep. Don't have your phone vibrating on the bedside table next to you. That should be seven feet away from you because of the EMF, the electromagnetic frequencies. Sleep deeply, eat better, hydrate think better thoughts. If you just do those three things for your body, your body will do so many things back. Your body is so forgiving. Your liver, your arteries will all forgive you for treating your body badly when you start to treat it well. And if you say, well, you know, I don't even believe that stuff. Surely your immune system is fixed. Well, no, it's not fixed. There were some studies many years ago where they gave people who were madly in love, tiny dose of poison, 
and it didn't affect them because when you're in love, you're going, oh, I love you. I love everything. You're so great. I just ring your machine just to hear your voice. I look at your picture. You're the best thing ever. When you hear those kind of words, your immune system is massively boosted. Praise, recognition, admiration, self-praise will boost your immune system massively. And then they gave a fraction of the poison they gave to the lovers, the people who were sad and negative and depressed and miserable and pessimistic, and they reacted to that poison immediately. So people say, you know, I fell in love and what the amazing thing, my irritable bowel went away. I stopped getting headaches, my eczema cleared up, came back later, but for the first six months it was gone. And that's because when you're in love, that beginning of being in love, your immune system is boosted by the great thoughts you think. Orgasm boosts your immune system massively. Deep rhythmic breathing boosts your immune system. So don't let anyone tell you that your immune system is fixed and you don't have any power to change it. You have massive, incredible, phenomenal power to have a strong immune system. Believe that you can impact and influence your immune system and you certainly will. Believe that and then take some actions. Eat the right foods, take some supplements, take B vitamins, D vitamins that are really good for your lungs. Take zinc in the winter, take vitamin C, eat better, sleep better, hydrate better. More than anything, think better thoughts because every thought you think has a physical reaction and an emotional response. What you expect tends to be realized. These are rules of your mind. Use those rules. Think better thoughts, expect great health, and you know what? You'll very, very likely get just that. So if you want to really dive deeper, influence your mind, influence your body, and have amazing health, click the link below to see how you can do that. If you enjoyed that video, check out the next one right here. You can also click the link below right here for your free gift. The difference between success and failure is often nothing more than this. People who have success also have self-discipline.